Hey coaches, it's Megan. So I wanted to make a quick tutorial video because I have been getting some questions lately, actually quite a few questions, about how I go about making my graphics um, with me, with me, like the cutout of me. For example, that the one with the fireworks where I'm on the background and it's just the cutout of me. So I actually use PicMonkey and then I drop the outline into Canva. So I'm gonna do a screen share and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All right, so let me move this over. So, okay, so pickmonkey.com, www.pickmonkey.com. You have all these options up here. You're gonna pick design, okay? And then you're gonna choose square. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Square is just easier, okay? So you have your blank canvas here. Then you're gonna go over to the side option and right here under canvas color, you're actually gonna choose the box where it says transparent canvas, turn this transparent and hit apply. Then there's the little butterfly on the left for your overlays. You are gonna go up and choose your own. It's gonna pull up your pictures. So you can go in here, I'm just gonna pick one that I've done before. Um, I will choose this one. So then you choose your picture and it ends up putting it on here really, really tiny. So you want to make sure you, whoops, let me move some of this stuff. <clears throat> you wanna make sure that you blow this up really, really big. And then you have this overlay box, right? Right here. You choose eraser. And first, you wanna make the eraser pretty big and the eraser hardness pretty big, like, you know, 90 and 80. And you're just gonna start to erase the background of your picture, right? You um, are going to get carpal tunnel if you do this a lot, if you make these a lot. I, um, when I was a new coach, I like was really making um, outlines a lot and I swear my wrist was carpal tunnel. So you're going to go and you're going to erase a lot of this and then you're going to want to click on this, click off, click back on it and make it big again make it bigger so that you can really work with your space. And then eraser. So then you're gonna wanna you know, drop the eraser size down as you start erasing the background, right? And you're gonna erase a lot of this big background that you can while it's still a big, a big space to cover. And then as you get down to where you're getting pretty close to your, um, your body here, you want to make the eraser hardness down under 10. I usually use about an eight as far as eraser hardness. And that's gonna make kind of, the, it's gonna make a kind of a sh more shadowy effect. Um, and you're not gonna be able to see the background if you leave some of the background really close to your body because it gets kind of tricky. Um, you won't see it as much when you drop it into Canva. Um, I'm not gonna, if I were to do this, it would take me a lot longer because it gets pretty intricate around as you get, obviously, as you can see, as you get closer to your body, you want to keep dropping the eraser size um, so that you can get into some of these areas, especially when you like, you know, you do between your legs, you're going to want to come in here and you, it gets pretty to where you have to take your time. Obviously, you're going to have to take some time to do this. Um, but you want to make sure that you get the big spots because you don't want those to show up when you save the outline. So I'm just going to go through this. Let's say that I did it all already, okay? And you just have it like this. You can shrink it back up a little bit. You can always make it bigger in Canva anyway. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. Obviously, I would erase all of the black so it just outlines me, and I'll show you what that looks like in Canva. So then you hit Save and you save it to your computer, and I usually call it like, you know, um, I would call this professional pick outline with weights or something. You can name it whatever you want, obviously. Save it to your file, your documents, or your downloads. I'm not gonna save this one because I don't want it saved, but you'd save it, so it's saved. <clears throat> then you're gonna go over to Canva. So here's Canva, right? And let's say you wanna make um, a Facebook post. You come into Canva and you can choose your backgrounds, you know, you can choose whatever you want. Like I did the fireworks one for my New Year's 
uh, call out. So let's say I, you know, I have a display like that. And then you come to your uploads and you would upload your images just like you normally do into Canva and you would choose that image to upload. See, I've already done it. I did this one earlier. So now you have your outline and you can literally just drop it into your Canva. There's my outline. Then you can put your fancy wording on it. You know, new year, new you. <laughs> That's, and then you can, you know, obviously, obviously you want to spell it correctly. Um, and you can make this fancy writing however you want. And there you go. You have your, um, outline of your person and like I said let's say you decide to as you can see here my outline when it's on white like this is not perfect there's you can see some of the little shadowing as you get close to my body like I said because it's very intricate but when you have it on a background um, you can't really tell honestly if you had it on white yeah it's a little bit more noticeable but um, for the most part, you can't, and I've done quite a few outlines. As you can see, I've done this one that looks pretty good. I've done, <clears throat> and I use these a lot. I've done this one. <laughs> I use these a lot um, for, you know, for callouts. Um, for callouts, not so much anymore, but I do like to make stuff um, for my cover photos for my challenge groups. They come in handy for that. Um, and you know, they're fun for call outs also. Not so much for ads, because for some reason they cost you a lot, but like this. I had this um, and it was really cool on on the banner for the new coach boot camp about what we're looking for in a coach. I also had this in a coach call out that I did that worked really well. Here's one I did for size. Um, so as you can see, I'm a bit addicted to using those. Um, but then you always have that outline that you can literally drop into different, different things, different call outs, different months. I've used this one quite a few times. I'm pretty sure. Um, I've also used this one tons of times, um, for different things. So that is basically how you do the, eraser tool for PicMonkey and how you drop that into your Canva uh, graphics. So really hope this helps you guys and have a good day.